Smarting from the backlash of Mocha Uzon's viral federalism jingle, Presidential Communications Secretary Martin Andanar blames Consultative Committee spokesman Ding Generoso. And I uh, confronted uh, spokesperson uh, Ding Generoso today. I told him that uh, kailangan mag-disengage siya kasi hindi naman siya nagpaalam sa PCOO. Ang meresyo sa may ASIC Mocha without even informing Number one, the interagency and informing me as the head of this department. Andanar says he hasn't spoken to Uzon, who is an assistant secretary under his office. He says he only managed to tell her via a message that he wanted to speak with her about the controversy. Consultative Committee spokesman Ding Generoso, the man who recruited Uzon to help in the social media campaign, says Uzon should give it a rest. I think uh, for now she could lie low. Okay. Well, maybe uh, uh, give the issue a rest no? and uh, see what, what can be done in the future. It's rather unfortunate no, that uh, something like this would come out. It's something that uh, I wouldn't want to put on the internet. Itong, uh, ganitong, uh, presentation is uh, definitely not the type that uh, uh, I, as a, you know, uh, having been a journalist myself, would uh, be happy about. Usan posted a video of her show, Good News Game Show, with co-host Drew Olivar. Oh, oh dito lang ako sa tabi. Alikang masis! Ayun na tayo! Solo mo! Go! Ayun na! I Pepe! I Pepe! In the video, Drew Olivar sings the colloquial words for vagina and breast while gesturing to his crotch and chest. He yells, federalize at the end of the number. Senators, including federalism advocate Senator Coco Pimentel, slams Uzon and calls the video lewd. Pimentel says, I could not imagine that they would besmirch the cause of federalism. Mocha should be removed from the federalism campaign. She should study first. She should take a leave first. I am not angry but disappointed that the best and the brightest appointed to this government can come up with only that kind of bullshit. Senator Panfilo Lacson says without Mocha Uzon, federalism is already dead and awaiting cremation at the Senate. With Mocha Uzon, the ashes should be thrown far, far away from the Philippines, 7,107 beautiful islands. CONCOM members themselves are up in arms, saying the video has made a mockery of their draft federal constitution. CONCOM member Father Angelio Aquino calls the video a vulgar and inappropriate way of promoting federalism. He says it uses toilet humor in relation to a very serious document. Responding to criticism, Uzon explains the online show was produced even before she was asked to help in the campaign. Bago pa po ako formal na kausapin ng representante ng CONCOM at ng communications group ng DILG patungkol sa federalism, ay na-shoot na namin itong video na ito. Hindi po ako ang spokesperson ng federalism. Hindi po ako ang ambassadress ng federalism. Isa lamang po ako sa mga tutulong para isulong ang kampanya ng federalism sa social media. Generoso notes involving Uzon had its, quote, positive side. In a way, uh, uh, it had its uh, positive uh, effects. Now everybody's talking about federalism. <laughs> Dati nga, eh, ang sabi ng survey, only three out of ten Filipinos have heard the word federalism. Now probably there are five <laughs> out of ten. There are levels that you have to hurdle. The first level is plain awareness. On Monday morning, the words federalism and Mocha Uzon were trending on Twitter. Filipinos online also criticized the communications assistant secretary. One comments that Uzon should have the decency to apologize.